Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's episode 101. It is time to start uh, pushing units up. Starting from about here. Now, these two blocker units... One, two, three, four turns until they get into position. I think that's okay. I, I was tempted to buy more trucks. To just move them forward. But I guess, like... You could consider it a waste of fuel. Dude, got him. You can run, but you can't hide. This guy's actually got full supply. This means he's low on fuel, but that's not a big deal. My sweet surrender. I don't know if I can actually finish the job here. Let's get these guys onto the major road. That'll probably be quicker. Uh... Send these, these ones north for now. you this this blocker team does not have an anti-tank It's not like these units are uh, going to be useful for anything. They can just get into position and uh, start padding out this wall. The situation with the traffic is really uh, slowing things. I'll send these two different ways to try and avoid the traffic jam. Before I start moving stuff around, let's see if I can just kill off this pocket of idiots here. Just attacking them is fine. Gotta remember, they've got no supply, so... Every attack is, uh... 
driving them closer to surrender. There's no need to, uh... Kick the door in, as it were. There's no need to kick the door in, I can just lock them in. Just leave a few units behind. To make sure they're not going anywhere. Maybe drop a little bit of artillery on them just to remind them that they're on the clock. Four HQs in there. Uh, who else is loaded and ready? unit in here because this one is very soft. Do it. Yeah, they got they got nothing left. The amount of supplies they've got is next to zero. Thing. The journey of um, Team Yellow and Team Pink probably ends here. Yellow will probably be here and Pink will be like here. They're just line infantry groups. Nothing special. So they can just form a blockade for a, per, perhaps a future push. If one were to come. Thank you. 
just this. The traffic situation on this road is terrible, so we'll just try and get these guys onto the main road as soon as possible. Send a couple of units this way. Let's see if I can connect these positions up. Obviously hit a roadblock here with this tanks. Um, hit a roadblock, but uh, it should be fine to punch through it next turn. Okay, uh, do I have another, no, okay. I could spawn trucks here and then use them to connect these together. That would be really kind of funny and weird. Right. Oh, looks like my leading infantry found a blockage. Tanks. Cool. This anti tank team should be able to uh, bust a hole in that. Looks like there are a few 
enemy stragglers just kind of lurking around. That's fine. As long as we don't miss any. But we do have the traffic issue here, I mean. Look at the amount of traffic jams on the map right now. just go anywhere we can that's forward I'm not too concerned about keeping these units cohesive because I'm not expecting any real resistance let's move this artillery here and here I'll use it to take this out I do have to hold this position we actually uh, don't want to go that way. Doesn't give me full sight. Okay, one for two, that's fine. This is loaded and ready to fire. This is loaded and ready to fire. This is loaded and ready to fire. So is this. Bombs away. Destroyed. Why not? Destroyed. <laughs> That's brutal. Okay, so we got a few little bits and pieces here. Let's move this here to just make sure that this guy cannot get away. Okay, this is a good little spread here, just along this position. I'm coming to cut the enemy off. In fact, the only way that they're getting supply right now is via ANZ. All friendly enemy supply is coming from ANZ. ANZ. Sorry. <laughs> um, un hashtag unexpected Remenstein. Okay. Um, this is cut off. Like power projection here is power projection from here and here. No units here means that this is actually cut off. Okay, it's about to be night time. Um, I feel like this is it for the offensive front. Covering a lot of space here. I have no intention of going into these towns to fight for them. They're probably heavily defended. But it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter to me at all. What matters to me is cutting off this bit. This little piece of land is all that stands between me and uh, cutting the supply of their entire front line. 
creating a giant doom pocket. Now, obviously, they could break out of it very easily. It's going to be a long time before it becomes a wall. But, nevertheless, um, it's going to hamper the combat value of enemy troops in this area so much. Is that, that's a town, isn't it? No, it's just planes. I lost 18 units, but uh, the entire capitulation of this unit, including 12 bazooka troopers and 3 guns, more than makes up for it. We've got a few tanks in the bargain as well. Again with the weak. Sacrificial unit. AI keeps doing that, just like putting one little sacrificial unit in this tile, which I then pick off each turn. Ha, huh, none of them can attack that. Okay, that did not work. That did, though. Mm. Still alive. You should make a note here. Huge success. Okay, looks like the enemy has pulled back from most of these positions. <coughs> Excuse me. Nine tanks for five. That's pretty solid. You know what, I suppose I can just take this position. This is still a murder hole. It's got two high grounds and it will be a three point surround. Bad supply, bad readiness. Let's go. Beautiful. Destroyed. Damn, that was, that was another brutal loss for them. Oof. 
I know that this hurts you, call to uncle. Okay, there's a unit there. I suppose I should have expected that. Anyone loaded and ready to fire? Nope, that's out of range. No desire to waste a huge stack of artillery firing only three of its guns. bad for one mortar team. Man, these guys are about to get cut off. And that is going to end very badly for them. Not that they know about the strategic problem that is occurring. Not that the AI appreciates that strategically things are about to get very tricky. Oh, beautiful damage. Destroyed. Uh, a bit of a trade that went in my favor, mo like slightly. It's out of range. But of course, now I've got sight on them, so. I can just go ahead and amp up the damage. Seems like I got a lot of uh, a lot of my artillery is fully reloaded, and I and I have a lot of good shots. Oof. Okay, this artillery piece is about to enter the bad times. One guy got away. I bet he's got a story to tell. You know what? Just shoot him. Can't really push forward right now. Infantry is too. Too strong. Nice. Bad four trucks for some very light artillery. Okay, all right. I'm gonna say that that is it for this turn. It's the afternoon. I'm not expecting much in the way of counterattacks. I would say that the enemy is in big trouble.
because, uh... What these soldiers on the front line don't know is that they are about to have a very, very bad supply chain day. And that realistically their supply chain might end up melted in like... Um... I mean, it could happen next turn. If this unit survives, uh, I don't know what this is, but if this unit survives and I get a card that lets me make another one, I could literally move this here, spawn the new unit, and move this unit onto Anz. And that's it. That's all the major roads cut. And the enemy supply chain would just be completely destroyed. And then it would just be a rush forward to destroy everything. Or not. Or I could just sit on my hands and reinforce my wall and just wait for them to all starve. I mean, brutal, but it would, it would eventually happen. Uh, okay, let's end the turn. Why not? damage. Okay, that airstrike killed six tigers. Nothing I can do about it. There is anti-aircraft guns there. Quite a few of them. But there's just nothing you can do about airstrikes. The AI knows to go for value. But there's very little that the Allies can do about your artillery advantage either as long as you use it correctly. So, you've got your own annoying advantage. I suppose if their airstrikes constantly targeted my artillery, it would get really annoying after a while, but uh, the AI prefers to go after tanks. And I get it, they're very powerful units, and they're pretty rare. But it doesn't help you... It doesn't help you stop pushes. It's, it's artillery that wrecks fortification, morale, and deals infantry and truck casualties, making units really vulnerable. Wow, they're cutting themselves off. The units that formed the snake that kept the supply going have uh, moved away. Which means I may be projecting enough power there to actually block that road. There's a huge amount of units in that pocket. That's going to be a... Uh... That's going to be a wipe. <laughs> A big one. Okay, there's lots of units just kind of shuffling around. That's that really scary, really scary tank mobs. Uh, 
okay, that's where, yeah. Okay, artillery. Destroying that bridge only helps me defend. Not quite sure why. Okay, minor. Minor damage with the artillery here. There's a lot of it though. The danger on this front is not over. For sure. Ah, I lost six of my precious tigers. It's very annoying. Are they tigers or are they tiger twos? If they're tiger twos, I mean, that's even more annoying, but, you know, that's a very potent tank. Just more artillery chafe. The fact that this tile is only showing 58 shows just how much artillery they dumped on it. It's been really badly weakened. Okay, it's night time. did I get? Yay! Okay, it's probably not wise for me to... Can I actually... I think there's got to be a connection, hasn't there? Yep. Can't deploy here. Can't deploy here, but can deploy here. Does it, do these guys need rest? I guess they do. Right, I'm just going to merge these units back together. Because I don't want to lose this at any at any price really. So, I'm fine. Yeah, we'll just let everyone rest. It's fine.
Man, I'm down to 14 from 25. They actually killed, like... Nearly half of them. It looks like the anti-aircraft team got murdered as well. There's very little of it left. There's m more heavy anti-air here. Range 3. One, two, three. So this, or uh, this anti-air would have been in range. Looks like all my units are actually getting fully resupplied as well. That's a good sign. Three hundred and sixteen for a supply card. Duh, that is amazingly expensive. Okay, I feel like I have plenty of units here with more arriving. And this is also quite a lot of units. I'm actually going to play this one here. Just because this feels a little thin. This is the wrong HQ. You can't drop down there. Move cost 104. Huh. Oh, well, I'll drop it down there next turn. This just feels like a weak point. shuffle these during the night. Because once they're in position they won't be moving. I'll move these ones onto the hills. It might be fine to not have a unit here and here because this is ultra hard hill. Ascending that would be super hard. But yeah, these guys, once they're in position, they won't move, so... Then there would be no real... They would, All they'll do is rest. Okay, I'm going to say that that's it for now. I'm going to have a little bit of a think as to whether there's anything else I want to do during the night. And I think the best thing to do is to just let my troops rest. And we can worry about... Uh, pushing the road. And cutting off the enemy. 17 rounds left. It's not a lot of time. To be fair. I still think it's firmly possible to cut the enemy off here, but... Uh, I need to take here. Or here. That would cut off the major roads. And that seems very possible. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.